This is the speaking test for the International English Language Testing System conducted on January 17, 2024 at Innovative Center. The center number is UZ050 and examiner's name is Timurbek Dolilov. The candidate's name is Kamarbek Usoyev. Good afternoon. My name is Timurbek Dolilov. Could you please tell me your full name? Yeah, it's Kamarbek Usoyev, but you can just call me Kamarbek. Thank you. And could you please tell me where you're from? I'm from Uzbekistan and I've been living in Tamarkin City like the last 18 years. Thanks. And let's, now I would like to ask some questions about yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your hometown. Right. So could you please describe your hometown a little? Well, Samarkand is a very modest city because we live in a developing country, but still it's full of the mixture of most modern buildings, but still some ancient buildings as well. And we have, we have some sightseeing places for tourists. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And is there something you would like to change in Samarkand? Yeah, uh, I would like to change the infrastructure of the city. I mean, we have all the bridges available, all the tunnels that are being built, but I would still make some change in the transportation system. We have a tram, but the underground uh, would be very perfect for Samarkand city as we have the flats of tourists every year. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you think you will move to different city in the future? Well, I guess I see myself in the Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan in the nearest future, like after completing my bachelor's and starting my own business, I want to move there. Mm. Let's move on. Let's talk about social media now. Right. Come to me. Do you use any social media platforms? Sure. I use Instagram mainly for communication purposes. I use Telegram to chat with my students and give them homework. And sometimes I'm also available on the Facebook just because I have to see what my parents, what my friends and neighbors are doing. Mm. Do you think there are any negative effects of social media? Sure, it's very time consuming because sometimes I feel that I lose a lot of time because all the reels are so hooking that every time I go there, it's difficult to quit. Um, plus, it really affects your mood because every time you see videos of different content. You Thank say, you. All right. And what is the most popular social media platform among children in your country? Uh, well, today in the new generation Z, I guess the most popular one is TikTok because many people are now using and many people are getting online. And even if it was banned recently in Uzbekistan, people are finding all the possible ways like turning on VPN just in order to use this platform. And I guess it's the most popular one. Do you use this? No, because Why? even if I'm one of those people who are living in this generation, uh, I have an account, by the way, just for business purposes and for some educational purposes, but I never post and I never watch. Because again, it's time consuming and I don't have any free time for this. Mm -hmm. Let's move on and talk about advertising right. now. Uh, so what kind of types of advertisement can you come across in your country? Uh, billboards are very popular because most uh, businesses consider it as a very effective way of advertising their product. Some advertisements on Instagram and on other social media platforms are also popular, but uh, people always consider it as a scam, so never use it. But advertisements on the streets like posters and billboards are the most popular. And do you like it to see advertisement? Mm, I don't, but I don't have a choice because it's not your choice to ban all dating patterns, at least if you do not uh, buy the premium version of any program, or at least if, you, if you're if you not blind to not to see all of those billboards on the streets. But I'm not a fan, but still, what we can do about it. Hmm. Yeah. And do you think advertisement is beneficial for companies themselves? Sure it is. Uh, I wouldn't say beneficial, it's profitable. Because by investing like thousand dollars in any kind of advertisement, doesn't matter if it's a billboard or on social media, on TV, in any kind of media, it's now very popular to advertise your product because people are already used to see the. Thank you. Uh, All right. Now, in this part of the test, I'm going to give you a topic, and I would like mm -hmm. you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Mm -hmm. Before you start, you will have one minute to think okay. about what you're going to say, mm -hmm. and you can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Here's some paper mm -hmm. and a pencil for you for right. making notes, mm -hmm. and. I would like you to talk about a famous person in your country. So your one minute preparation is over. Mm -hmm. Please do remember that you have for this up to two minutes. I will tell you when your time is up. Mm -hmm. Could you start speaking now, please? Um, sure. Today I've decided to talk about one of the most successful people in Uzbekistan, but I'm 
uh, gonna tell about the person who we don't have among us now. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away several years ago, but the hero of today's topic is the Olim. His surname is Hasanov, Olim Hasanov. Uh, he was one of the local successful business people and he had his own airline. Um, I guess this is the perfect person to choose for this topic because, uh, except from being successful and having a million dollar business, uh, having all the airplanes available in his own budget and uh, opening several companies at once in Samarkand and, and contributing a lot to the local economy, I guess he's the person to talk about not just because of his success in business, but also success in the personal life. As he has the family that I, family that I really admire, he's one of our relatives and he lives in our neighborhood. And as a person, he has done a lot of charity in his life as I know uh, about most of his charity foundations, like the one that's called Olim Hasanov. The, the charity is called Olim Hasanov. And the main purpose of these kinds of foundations is that even if he is not alive now, he passed away several years ago, as I have already mentioned it, but those foundations still continue um, financing all the newest projects done by young people here in Samarkand and even financing their uh, education in doesn't matter bachelor's or master's here in Uzbekistan or abroad. Uh, this person was a person who I really admire and who I, who I take as an example for myself as uh, the main cause for his death was just uh, being very exhausted and working a lot as sometimes when I feel laziness and procrastination, I always try to tell myself about those unique examples and try to motivate myself by building discipline and trying to be better. As he showed us that even if you have a lot of success in business or if you uh, are a successful businessman, doesn't matter Thank how much... You. Oh, and do you talk about this person with your friends? Uh, we do because after the latest case, I mean, after the case of his funerals, when we had millions of people coming to the neighborhood, this person has become an example for everybody. Thank you. <laughs> so you've been telling me about a, pa a famous person in your country. Now I want to discuss one or two more general questions related to this. So let's consider, first of all, fame and influence. Uh -huh. So what are the ways famous people influence other people's behavior, like young people, for example? Mm. Um, well, one of the main ways how those uh, successful people influence youngsters uh, is by showing off what they have achieved. As most of the successful people who are also active on the social media platforms, they not just advertise, they just show themselves as an example and put themselves as priority as the main content for all of those social media sites. As lately on Instagram and on TikTok, not just entertainment, but motivation has become the uh, key feature and those reels are becoming very uh, influential for children and for some teenagers. And apart from social media influence, mm -hmm. of course, when it comes to celebrities, they have that social media following. Mm -hmm. Apart from social media, how famous people can impact other people's behavior? Um, Starting from behavior to their own paths in real life, I guess their contribution to the charity, to the economy and foundation can be the key. Because if, for example, uh, teenagers are aiming to get accepted to universities but don't have enough funds, those influential people, those successful people and who have enough budget can even contribute for free. I guess. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And how do you think some really successful and famous people can use their help can use their fame to help others. Well, uh, mm -hmm. I guess fame and can be another reason by being connected to the social media, uh, because today, if you want to become famous, first of all, you have to be active on those platforms. And uh, without investing and without their uh, foundation, I guess one of the ways to uh, influence people would be by advertisements, because if the person is considered a celebrity, their influence on buying particular product, on the purchase of people, on convincing people is very effective, I guess. For example, even one of the local examples, we have some celebrities who advertise uh, wallpapers. And just because they are famous, just because everybody sees them on TV, people get persuaded to buy those wallpapers, even if they don't like them. Mm -hmm. And do you agree that celebrities can help to solve world problems? Sure, they, they even do. Because by choosing a particular point in the political arena, when they tend to show their tendency, for example, to recent examples like wars, some conflict in countries, or some kind of diseases, help, charity, they just uh, have to choose the tendency and show people what uh, they are against and what they are for. By Thank letting, you. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about benefits of fame to countries. Mm -hmm. So 
how do you think countries benefit from having internationally famous figures? Um, what countries do get uh, by having those celebrities in their own local area, I guess, uh, more visit of tourists. I mean, it's not the only key that can attract all of those foreigners from a particular country to visit their country. But still, after some of the flow of tourists who just want to take pictures with them, uh, who want to see the place where they were filmed, for example, like in Hollywood, they get a real big, really, really big flow of tourists. That could be one, one of the benefits. And the second benefit is, of course, the financial one, because uh, those celebrities usually open several businesses, several companies. Even most of them are not located in the lo local area, but still by building itself in a particular country, the country will get taxes from it, like the popular company for, as an Apple, for example. If uh, we have more of those companies, the country's economy will also increase. Hmm. Thank you very much. This is the end of the speaking test. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goodbye.